But what do we do with a filter? It makes you do that. Hi and welcome back to Get Jervis Gets Modular over at Tome and Synthesizers. Today, part two of our beginner's guide, the filter. This is typically the second module you'd buy because it's a stupid amount of fun. Before we dive in, find yourself a good set of speakers or some headphones because there are parts of this that you won't appreciate the differences of unless you're listening in high fidelity. The filter's job is to help sculpt the sound that you generate with your oscillator. The filter typically filters out frequencies to leave you with a narrower bandwidth. So there are typically three different types. Low pass, which allows the low frequencies to pass. Yes, it's that simple. Band pass, which allows you to take a center slice or a band, which can then be moved or high pass, which allows the high frequencies to pass. So let's hear a low pass filter. I'm gonna start at 10 and sweep it down so you can hear how it works. At the very lowest range, you hear nothing. It's basically move the frequencies to allow the lows to pass so far that there's nothing left. Now, changing that to a high pass. So, complete opposite to low pass. You start with nothing and you filter down to the lowest. Okay, band pass. And typically, because in the middle, you will always hear something. Okay, so that's part of the sculpting process with the filter. So the filter typically has a secondary control called resonance or emphasis. Now the job of this is to emphasize the peak for the cutoff frequency, giving you a little bit of a, a spike in the audio wave. But let's listen to what that sounds like on the low pass. All cut off, resonance, emphasis up high, and let's listen to what that sounds like as we do the sweep. Slightly whistly. That's low pass. Let's look at high pass. And hopefully with the resonance up, you can actually hear better what the filter is doing to your tone, the sculpting that's happening. You get a much thinner sound with high pass. Good for some lead sounds, I think, whereas low pass tends to be more on the bass side. Band pass, you know, can do a lot of other stuff too. So the filter is quite a static thing, um, and that's all very well and good for some sounds, but you may very well want to modulate that with an envelope or an LFO. We'll be covering both of those kinds of modules in future episodes, so look out for those. As with most things, there are a variety of different filters. Typically, uh, 12 decibel per octave, which is a two-pole filter, has a sort of more harsher sound and a slightly shallower slope, whereas the 24 decibel per octave or four-pole filter has a steeper curve and a slightly warmer, chunkier tone. Uh, think your Moogs for that, uh, whereas the 12 decibel per octave, think your Roland uh, SH series, you know, your Japanese synths. That's an analog filter. You can get digital multi-mode filters like the Radical Technologies behind me, which is a really good example, brightly colored as well. Uh, and you can get more expanded filters like the Belgrade by Chaos Technologies there as well. Hope you enjoyed that. Next, we're gonna tackle the envelope. That's A-D-S-R. So stay tuned for that one. It'll be hitting your screen soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can see those things. Get modular.